officially hi from <laughs> this vlog. I can't even remember. I, I might not have spoken like at all during this vlog, but it is what it is. Anyway, hi. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed the little vlog and I wanted to just kind of finish off this video with a little pregnancy update. So I am 25 weeks currently. Um, so I went to my 25 where 25 week um high risk appointment so if you kind of like miss that part basically i have like my regular ob that i go to but because of my age because i am over 35 um i do have to see a high risk um a high risk pregnancy doctor as well but it's just because of my age like there's literally nothing else wrong <laughs> wrong anyway so um i don't think i was supposed to originally go in but i went in because i had to basically get another sonogram done because they couldn't get a clear image of baby brother's face and i think they had to like see his heart better so anyway he wasn't in a good position like the previous time i went but this time was really really good um we got some good pictures i'll like pop them up here so cute you know he's growing really well um as of right now he's one pound 10 ounces which makes a lot of sense because i can feel the growth like really feel the growth so i kind of like kind of update on um because i am reaching the end of my second trimester so kind of what's been happening since the last time i checked in at i guess the halfway i checked i checked in at 20 weeks yeah so basically almost as soon as my 20 week mark hit um as i was approaching or actually maybe when i was like into like 21 weeks my carpal tunnel came back specifically in this hand so technically i guess it never went away but it like got severely worse all of a sudden um so i was wearing a wrist brace you might have seen it um a couple times or maybe just in one video i don't know um but yeah so that's something that's happening i did mention it to my ob office and i might have to go see a hand doctor to like get like injections. We'll see, it's actually gotten better, which is very surprising. Um, but that might've been because while we were in New York, there was like a lot of like kid duties, like my toddler, um, a lot of duties that um, I didn't have to do. Like I didn't, I was basically like, I was not cooking for like two weeks. I wasn't giving her a bath for two weeks. Like there was, you know, like I had help taking her to the bathroom and like all those things. So I think, that really helped alleviate um, some of that pain. And it kind of, so it's, it's definitely still there. It's just not as bad as it was around that time. <laughs> so 
Um, another thing that has reared its ugly head is acid reflux. Uh, I actually really forgot about this um, because I did experience it during my first pregnancy. But it was funny because at the time I didn't know what it was because I'd never experienced that before. Um, but now I know, so I'm trying to be better about kind of um, avoiding things that trigger it. It's weird because it's not all like, I thought I was like, I was like, oh my God, I'm not gonna be able to eat spicy food and like whatever. But it's weird because it's not all spicy food. It's just like certain things. Pepper, like black pepper seems to kick it off. Um, I'm trying to avoid acidic things like tomatoes, um, but not all acidic food is like triggering it. So it's like a weird trying to figure out what affects it and what does it anyway. Um, yeah. So, um, so that was about, yeah, that both of those things happened around 21 weeks. Then around 22 weeks is when I really, really started to feel truly uncomfortable. It was like, it was like all of a sudden, like he like, you, I could feel like him like growing and like just taking up more space. Like I was like running out of room and like, oh my God. <laughs> it was like, and that's really when I started to feel like I was having trouble getting up. Like if I was like real low, or like on the ground or whatever, like, yeah, it's, it's been tough. Um, definitely can't sleep on my back. Um, but not that I like really was before I was kind of trying to avoid it. I was like more sleeping on my side, but now it's like, I can, it's like a real thing. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, so that was like around 21, 22 weeks. Then 24, 25 weeks. Yeah. The belly grew, baby grew, like really, really feeling pregnant. Like <laughs> I was like telling one of my friends, um, I'm sorry, I'm just going to open this up. This is a little like Korean grape juice thing. I just, I need to drink something like get some flavor Hold on. oh that's good um i was telling my friend that i guess it's because during my first pregnancy i literally did nothing like i was literally just home all day like i was working but i was working remotely i really was not doing much at all and you know clearly i didn't have a toddler to take care of during my first pregnancy so I guess I never, like, I felt pregnant, but it never really, like, truly hit until, like, towards the end. But this time, it's like, yeah, like, I'm not even in the third trimester yet, and I can, I feel pregnant. <laughs> Which is fine. It is what it is, but it's just, it's just so interesting to see, like, the differences between my first and second pregnancy. Um, what else happened? Oh, and then... I finally, both me and my husband, we both finally felt the baby kick like from the outside. Like I've been feeling him move around a ton inside, but like, yeah, like I finally like, he was able to like feel him move from the outside and me too. So that was really nice. That was really cute and fun. Um, and then the last thing I have officially <laughs> broken out my pregnancy pillow. Um, I just have like one of the usual like long sea pillows and you know it's it's helping a lot <laughs> i guess i just like didn't want to break, bust it out until i needed to but yeah the time has come it's fine you know it's it's definitely a lot more comfortable and any extra support i can get will help <laughs> but anyway yeah so that's that's where we're at right now so yeah 25 weeks going into 26 soon um getting close to approaching the third trimester. So yeah, we've, we're gonna we're gonna get into baby prep mode soon. Like we're kind of in it, but like not quite, but we're getting there, we're getting there. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so like I said, I hope you enjoyed the little vlog slash pregnancy update. And yeah, I will, I'm just gonna end this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Just love it.